we have a special guest for you today from Airfoil Services. Um, they're running for a delegate, and this is Zach Hamilton. Would you like to introduce yourself and the company? Thanks, Larry. Um, yeah, my name is Zach Hamilton. Uh, I run Airfoil Services. Uh, we're a global services company that helps uh, VCs and otherwise large holders of crypto assets to do anything they might need to do with them. Um, right now, we're doing a lot of staking. Uh, we you know, do a lot of security work. Uh, but in short, it's all the things that VCs or other large holders don't want to do. Um, so we've joined the IOTEX network uh, with one of our clients. And, you know, we're looking forward to seeing everything propagate and, and running some of the tech behind it. Thanks for that introduction, Zach. So uh, can you tell us more around what Airfoil is and including yourself, who is the team behind it? Definitely. Uh, so Airfoil is a services company that uh, primarily services venture capital firms. Um, we also work with head fund, heads funds and we work with high net worth individuals. Um, the, the core of what we do is security, um, but then uh, all of the services that one could need uh, while holding large amounts of crypto assets, uh, we also offer. So it really depends on who the client is, uh, what they want to accomplish. Um, but at the end of the day, we are the crypto back office in a very crypto native way for venture capital or you know, otherwise large holders. Um, I'm a venture capitalist myself. I work at a firm called Hinge Capital. Uh, we do early stage tech investing. Um, I run the blockchain and crypto space. So Josh is another person on our team. He's the CTO. Uh, he is he's a crypto security expert. Um, he writes his own software for a lot of things. Um, he's helped probably 100 funds get all set up on uh, their recovery processes to make sure that they don't lose their tokens. Um, so yeah, we, we built this whole thing on a basis of operational security and we're working with you know, different firms, working with different uh, staking networks to help provide the validation services, uh, again, within this secure enclave um, of Airfoil uh, to you know, accomplish the goal. And the goal here is to, to use crypto. We, we want to see this stuff work. We, we don't want to just store it and let it uh, accrue in value. Uh, do you want to kind of explain high level your approach to tech? I know a lot of it is proprietary, but you know, for our audience here, you know, what, what makes the security of Airfoil special? You know, I think, and this is probably not something that the marketing people would ever want me to say, but I don't think what we do is exceptionally special. Um, I think we like to build processes that are robust and really to take the human into the consideration here. Um, I don't think actual hardware security or actual crypto security is that big of an issue. Um, it's, it's us, it's the gooey problems that, that us humans bring into the equation that make things difficult. So we, we focus on those a lot. We focus on who the team is um, that we're working with. We focus on who the stakeholders are and their needs. Um, you know, what's more likely to happen is, or what's more likely to happen? Someone dropping their phone into water or uh, Apple's encryption being broken. You know, it's probably them breaking their phone. So mm -hmm. we, we try to focus on those things and plan for those eventualities. Um, and this all kind of folds into how we operate uh, technology on behalf of other firms. Absolutely. Um, but most of what we do, we like to trust things after other people have validated them. We like to see audits. Um, a lot of times our advice is to just wait. Um, but, you know, we're not getting involved in anything that we don't actually believe in either. So anything that we're pitching to clients, anything that we're uh, doing on behalf of clients, we're also doing usually personally and with Airfoil. So uh, it's not just uh, us selling some product into the, into the world. We're, we're using everything, too. So can you tell us a little bit more about your journey in the blockchain world? How did you kind of take your experience as a venture capitalist and apply it uh, in different blockchain networks? You know, I, I've been a part of this, this world for a very long time, I guess uh, a long time in crypto land. Uh, so I, I placed a seed investment or worked with a team that placed a seed investment in Ripple uh, back in 2013. Um, so we've been working with those people ever since. Um, you know, back then it was more about the cool tech. We didn't really have a running price chart um, of, you know, what everything's worth day to day because it didn't really matter. Um, so the evolution of all of this, seeing Ethereum come, seeing the first contentious hard fork with ETH and ETC, seeing all of those different things play out and, and knowing, here's what rationality tells us. Here's what our experience in venture capital tells us and then seeing the opposite happen mm -hmm. and we you know through those those years of learning like that we've just really learned enough um, learned the people behind this we've learned not everything is as it seems 
and you know this is a new industry it's a new economy it's 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 completely 24 7 365 global and i think that we we truly appreciate that and that's why we're interested you know we're interested in, in how sovereign it is and how free it is um, so yeah i think you know there's there's a little bit of difference in how we operate but um most of it is just doing things because they're interesting and, and that's why we're in it we're, we're in it because we love it that's great that's great and i think you know it really takes that kind of leading by example role uh to be a delegate so from your own words uh maybe explain the rationale as to what led to the decision to become an iotex delegate you know we we do what our clients want so you know we have a client that has a, a large holding and you know is a very large proponent of iotex and they came to us and said, hey, you know, we, we're interested in staking this. Will you guys check it out for us? I said, yeah, of course. So, you know, we go through, we talk to you guys, and we say, cool, this looks like a good investment. Um, and that's very much how we think of it. So any network that we're going to run a validator on, we also treat that like an investment. I, I act like I'm going to place money or into this project. And I think we kind of are doing that by running a, a validation service. Absolutely. So, you know, it's, it's taking what we have from a client facing perspective and saying, hey, a client needs the service. We want to make that client happy. Um, and then also from a reputational and uh, business perspective from for Airfoil saying, is this going to be worthwhile for us to do? Um, is this a network that is going to have some longevity? And also, is this something that we want to put our name on? And I think that last one is the most difficult. Um, you know, we don't buy master nodes for a hundred grand and try to run them at 20% monthly returns. Like, it, you know, it seems too good to be true because it is. And this is a network that I think has some promise. I think that, you know, obviously there's a long way to go. There's a long way to go with all crypto, but you know, we're, we're happy to put our name on this and happy to run a, an honest validation service that, uh, that generates capital. I mean, you know, we're not doing it for free. So mm -hmm. we, uh, we want to make sure that, that the, uh, the rewards are in for us too. So for folks that want to get more in touch with uh, Airfoil and um, understand, you know, the rationale for voting, you know, what would you explain to them? Uh, what are the reasons to vote for Airfoil services? I think the number one reason is just, you know, we're a real company. Um, you know, we have venture investors. Uh, I'm, I'm a VC myself. Um, we understand how all of that works. Uh, we think about security more than anything. Um, if we have to choose between making more money and losing no money, we're going to choose to lose no money. Um, you know, that's really it. You know, we're, we're a true venture funded company that does this and this only. Um, this isn't just a side project. You know, if we do something wrong here, we're beholden to more than just the people who have delegated to us on chain. We're beholden to our investors, to our customers, to everyone. Um, and our customers are very, very, um, I don't know what to say, diligent. Um, but our customers don't take things lightly. So we, uh, we have a lot of rigor that we have to uh, attain. We have multiple auditors and admins that are asking us questions constantly. So mm -hmm. we're already doing this level of professionalism for other networks and we're doing it for institutional clients. So we're just going to carry that over to, to anyone. So there's no real difference in us, uh, in our heads, between someone who's delegating anonymously and one of our customers, it's, it's all the same. So how can the community learn more about Airfoil? I think just airfoil.services, um, airfoilcapital.com. I, I just switched the URLs, but um, you know, learning more about us, there's not really a lot out there, but if, if there's large holders, if there's people that are interested in delegating to us and, and want to know a little bit more, I'm happy to speak with them. Uh, obviously there's a contact form on the site. Like I said, we primarily work with large delegates or large holders. So if there's some sort of special need and some sort of special consideration, um, for us, it's, it's coin operated. So if, if people want to, say, spin up their own node or rather than delegate to us, like, we're here. We can do it. Um, it may not be the most efficient, but if that's what the customer wants, that's what they want. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. You know, add any final thoughts? You know, we're, we're running this with the same level of rigor as an institutional product. Um, I don't really want to complicate things more than that. Uh, probably seen on the delegate profile that we're refusing to disclose our, our exact tech specs. Um, that's very intentional. Um, we don't tell anyone what we're using because it's an attack surface. 
So things like that, we're happy to discuss privately. Um, except we're not a bulk marketing institution. So any questions uh, that one might have, uh, we're happy to answer direct. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time, Zach. Definitely look out for more announcements from Airflow soon and make sure to vote for Airflow. Thank you so much, Zach. Uh, thank you. Appreciate it.